Well, hello and welcome to Jonathan from the Heart. I'm Jonathan Asley of JonathanAsley.com and I'm so excited to be shooting this short video for you today. Our topic, why do men drink too much? Drink too much on a first on a date. <laughs> uh, really quickly, if you're new to my channel, these are my weekend videos I shoot out on the ba my balcony, similar to the videos I shoot in my private group called Midlife Love Mastery, where I answer your questions via uh, video three times a week, and then we have a once a month webinar. So check out the link to my membership group called Midlife Love Mastery. All right, we're gonna talk about um, why men drink too much on a date. And this is actually a piggyback from a video I did recently where I shared the story of when I went on a first date with a woman and I'd gotten alcohol poisoning because I didn't have enough food in my stomach and then I acted belligerent on the date. And that's the first time I've ever acted in that kind of manner on a date um, because I really was sick from the alcohol. Now, why I'm sharing this with you is a woman went on to make a post or put a, she wrote a comment in the, in the comments section that that belligerent behavior is a reflection of my personality. And, and I wanted to address that for a second and then I wanna go into a deeper conversation about why men drink. And so to the extent that there was some truth to what she said, I wanna, you know, the fact is, is human beings have a dark side and a light side to them. You know, we have a devil and angel inside of us. And so we all have, for lack of a better word, darkness inside of us. And often alcohol, alcohol can actually reveal that. Now, does that make a person bad because they have a dark side? Does that make them, is that truly a reflection of who they are 100% of the time? No. You know, we, we can find, you know, one of the things that my dark side, um, when I'm watching a car race and if I see a car accident, while I don't want anyone to get hurt, it's kind of exciting to see an accident happen. It doesn't make me a bad person because of that. It's just we all have a dark shadow to us. And if you're not familiar with the shadow work, I highly recommend you checking out uh, Debbie Ford's work on the shadow work. So write this down, Debbie Ford shadow work and Google it because we all have an egoic dark side to us. Now, with that said, I want to go back to the drinking because after my divorce, uh, a decade and a half ago, I actually was habitually dating and I was drinking heavily at that time. I was drinking heavily. Um, and I was drinking because I was avoiding pain. I was avoiding the pain of the divorce. I was avoiding pain of losing my money in the market. I was trying to avoid the pain of my job loss. And so there was a lot of negativity in my life and I drank quite a bit on dates. Now. I was able to hold my alcohol kind of okay and I was acting somewhat charming. In fact, for those who know my, my, the t-shirt I'm wearing right now, that's what I do. I drink and I know things. If anyone knows where this is from, please post a comment below. <laughs> those who know that. By the way, for the record, this is a Moscow Mule Cup, but I am drinking coffee from it. Mm. But going back to um, I was in heavily in deep, deep pain after my divorce. And this happens for a lot of people. When they're in pain, we mask the pain oftentimes by using alcohol, or not mask the pain, numb the pain that's going on. And so for a, 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 a big percentage of people who are out in the dating realm, um, you can see that a lot of them on a first or second date can, will drink heavily on a date. I know it has, by the way, has this ever happened to you? You went out with a guy and he drank heavily on a date and you were thinking to yourself, red flag? Well, red flag simply means, and by the way, it is a red flag. Someone who drinks heavily, it is a red flag. And what should we know about this? Well, what I want to lean into today is why is the person drinking so much? And what you might want to do just out of curiosity, I mean, you don't have to do this, but try to find out what pain is going on in their life. Because the chances are they haven't healed a childhood wound or trauma or an adult trauma that's causing them to seek this numbing agent. And I can tell you that for, a, for almost a decade, I was, habitu I was 
doing drugs, I was doing, drinking alcohol, I was habitually dating because I was, I was so miserable on the inside. And that's oftentimes why people do drink because they're on the miserable, they're miserable on the inside. I mean, drink heavily. I'm not saying, you know, look at that. Just because uh, someone drinks a glass of wine uh, once a night or once a week or something like that, I'm not suggesting that. I'm talking about people who drink heavily, especially on a date. So when I did something called the Hoffman process, the Hoffman process, here's a copy of the book. I highly recommend checking this out. This is a deep dive into your childhood wounds and traumas that causes one to see that you know, causes one to act out in ways that are emotionally unhealthy. It causes us to have negative patterns and limiting beliefs in our lives. And after doing this program, I found my life changed dramatically. In fact, it was the inspiration for writing. For those who know me, I'm going to talk about my book, What the Heck is Self-Love Anyway? <laughs> what the Heck is Self-Love Anyway? It's a journey of personal development, self-help, and spiritual work so you can work on that stuff inside of you that is hurting. And that's what I want to lean into today, is that the reality is, is most men who are drinking habitually, have they're really hurting in the inside. Now, that doesn't mean you, know, you should date them. I'm not suggesting that. And it doesn't mean you should save them. I just want you to understand what's going on. And rather than judging people, you know, it's sad that I got a lot of negative comments on that post. I was being judged as being a bad person. You know, you don't really know a human being until you see the totality of their life and what they've done. We've all done bad things in our lives and we've done good things in our lives. Some people just do more of one or the other. But I'm here to say that a person who drinks heavily on dating is, is just simply in pain and they're trying to mask it or avoid their problems. And, and again, this doesn't mean you should date that person. And when I said earlier, red flag, I mean, for most people, it's a deal breaker. Deal breaker, that's a deal breaker. Red flag simply means ask more questions. And I highly recommend just leaning into what might be going on inside that person from a place of compassion. And again, it doesn't mean you have to date them. I mean, you're free will, you can do whatever you want. I'm just giving you some backdrop as to why this might happen. All right, I hope that answered your question. <laughs> Please post a comment below if this resonated with you. If you have something to add, I'd like to hear about it. I'm gonna wrap up this video as I always do. First off, give myself a big gigantic jot the bear hug of self-love. I'm gonna reach into the camera and give you a hug of love if that's okay. I'm gonna ask you to turn to someone or a pet or even a teddy bear and give it or them a hug of love because hugs are a great source of love and we can all use more love in our lives. Thanks a bunch. Bye-bye now.